guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marky Rochelle and thank you for clicking on my video. So I just felt like this cartoon-ish eyeliner look was such a cool way to jazz up just like boring eyeliner. I feel like sometimes when I'm doing looks, I just get bored because I'm just doing the same thing over and over again with the wing and everything. So I thought this was a really cool way to kind of jazz it up and make it fun and colorful. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then just keep watching and also just an update on my giveaway situation. I know you guys are being so patient and thank you for that. I'm still waiting for the prize to come in the mail so I'm really sorry it's taking so long but I promise you, pinky swear, it will be here soon and once it is here I will film that video right away and get it up for you guys. So please just be patient. I know it's super frustrating. I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by priming our eyelids. I'm just using a concealer today from Wet n Wild. This is their highlighting and concealing pen, and it is in the shade Posing Nude. And then I'm just gonna buff that in with a Bamboo Naturals brush, just to make sure when we do put this liner down, it's not gonna go anywhere throughout the day. And the shadow that I do end up adding is just gonna blend a little bit better on my eye. Now I'm going to pick up the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette in this cream shade right here and I'm just going to set that primer down just to ensure that it's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to slip and all of that just to make sure it's nice and set and that baby is not going anywhere. <laughs> Now to start the wing, I'm going to pick up Wet n Wild's Mega Liner in the shade Voltage Blue. And I'm going to start by drawing a diagonal line from the very, very corner of my eye. Then what I'll do is I'll connect the very end of that line to my second line and drag it all the way across my lid. So right here, I'll just drag, there we go, a diagonal line across my lid. And sometimes it doesn't always go all the way across, so I'll just connect it from kind of like the inner corner of my eyelid, kind of like so. And then I'll just fill in the empty spaces. And re remember, you can always go back in later and even it out and fill it in a little bit more. This is just kind of my process when I'm doing winged eyeliner. It seems to be what works the best for me is just to draw a basic outline and then fill it in later as I go. And then I'm just going to fan that off and make sure it is completely dry before I add my next liner. Now I'm going to pick up the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner in the darkest shade they have, black. And I'm just going to outline the shape I just did. Now I will say I did on my other eye try the NYX Stiletto Liner, I believe is what it's called. Um, I'll put it down below and it was really, really hard to use for this look specifically. So I would definitely recommend the Vinyl Liquid Liner that I'm using here over anything else. But I just really took my time with this and went very slow and just outlined the blue that I just put down. And I just went with a thin line to begin with and now you'll see I'll start to thicken it up a little bit more and just make sure it's nice and thick and it looks really pronounced and just makes that blue pop even more so. And then after I let that liner dry, I'm just gonna heat my lash curler and curl my lashes. And then I'm gonna use some volumizing mascara again from Wet n Wild. Gosh, this should just be a Wet n Wild tutorial. <laughs> but I'm just gonna coat my top lashes and I'll save my bottom lashes for later. I swear I did them, I just don't think I filmed it if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then right here, as you'll see, I'm just putting on some lashes. These are the BH Studio Pro D301 lashes and they are gorgeous. Super, super nice and just fluffy lashes and they're pretty easy to put on as well, which I definitely like that. And now that I've made sure my lashes are sticking on, I'm just going to go over the blue eyeliner and also the black eyeliner that I've that I've put down just to ensure that everything looks really vibrant and clean. Um, as you'll see here, I'm gonna darken up and thicken up that black eyeliner line again. Um, I'm sorry guys, this is a little blurry. I wasn't, I did not realize I was out of focus. So I'll make sure I don't do that again. <laughs> and then I decided my eyes were looking a little bit blank last minute. So I just added some shadow. Honestly, I don't even know where the shadow is from. It's just been on my brush forever and I need to clean my brushes. But I just did that a little bit in the crease and a little bit under the eye and just blended it out, nothing super crazy there. 
Alrighty guys, and that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I'm just currently waiting in the fort. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're near, <laughs> but anyways guys, but hey guys, and welcome back to my, that sounded weird.